So far, we've modeled our data with Python classes, but there was no real Mongo engine entity stuff. They wouldn't actually be saved or processed by Mongo engine. It just happens to be we kind of sketched them out in Python class style. So we're going to change that now. We're going to go make our standard plain old Python classes proper Mongo engine entities. Snake is pretty simple, so let's start there. So in order to work with Mongo engine over here, I'm going to have to import it. Now, you might want to do from Mongo engine import some things, but I like to be real explicit. Like these things are coming from Mongo engine, even in my production code. So this is how I'm going to do it. And we're going to set the register date to a particular type of descriptor that comes from Mongo engine. And at sort of the type level, this tells Mongo engine what type of data and constraints and requirements go onto this field. However, at runtime, it's going to act like say a date time or whatever it is. In this case, a date time and species would be string and so on. So we'll come over and say Mongo engine dot date time field. And we'll just go like this. So this will tell Mongo engine to map that to the database as a date time field. Over here, we'll say Mongo engine dot string field. And over here, the length, let's say this is in meters and that's probably decent to have floats, right? So this will be a float field. The name, again, a string field. Uh, whether it's venomous or not, that's true or false. Um, I guess it could be a number like level of venomous, I don't know. But we're going to call this a Boolean field. And that's that. So our snake is all ready to map into MongoDB. MongoDB doesn't have things like required fields or default values or anything like that. But Mongo Engine does. So let's change this to make it a little simpler to create a snake. So for example, register date is almost always just whenever you inserted it, right? So what we can do is we can come over here and set a default function that will execute any time Mongo Engine inserts a new snake. So we're going to start with date time. And so the function that we want to call is the now function, which gives us a full year, month, day, hour, minute, second representation of time. So we'll come down here and say date time dot date time dot now, and be very careful not to put the parentheses. You're passing the function, not the value of now. That would be like when the program started. So that can be a little tricky. Over here for species, let's say that you have to say the species. So we can say this is going to be required is true. In fact, the length is required, the name is required, whether it's venomous is required. We could have in things like um, minimum values have to be like 0 0.001 or, you know, things like this, right? So you can't have like a negative length. There's a lot of cool constraints that we can do with our types here. So this snake is now ready to be used in our database. Let's look at the next one. Let's work on uh, the cage next. So again, import Mongo engine. We'll use that in a few places. This is exactly the same here. So set the default. And then the name is just going to be a string and so on. So I'll just sketch these out for you. So these seem like reasonable types here. And let's go ahead and set the required properties for things that we require. So most of these will be required. And whether or not we allow dangerous snakes, if you don't set that, let's say... No, by default, you're not going to have a dangerous snake. Okay, so these are just like the snake before. This, however, gets more interesting. So we're going to come down here and we're going to set this to be a Mongo engine dot embedded document. So we could have just a single thing like a booking or uh, an like say embed the snake in the owner or something like that. But we want to have a list of embedded documents. And then what we need to pass in here is the actual type that is contained in there. So we're going to import data dot bookings top booking one other thing that i also realized i forgot to do in the previous ones so we'll go back and fix that is we need to tell mongo engine that this is a top level document so we need to make this have a base class of type document we'll do that for snakes as well now let's go to the booking we were just working with that so this one recall is is the type that's embedded within of the cage embedded in the cage. That means it's not a document. Right? That would be a top-level thing. This is an embedded document. Right? So this can be contained within other documents, but it itself cannot be top-level. So let's go ahead and set these as well. Now, when we're talking about IDs in MongoDB, the default is something called an object ID, like a UUID or GUID or something. And so when we're talking about a reference, typically it's one of these. It doesn't have to be, but it typically is. There we go. So we've got our two references as object IDs. We've got our booking date, which does not have to be required and doesn't have a default value. This is when it was booked, which happens after the booking slot was made available. And But at the time of creation of the slot of booking, right, with like putting up for booking, you have to say the check-in and check-out date. And again, the reviews, these are not getting set until after. I set this to zero so we can say like, 
you know, require it to be one to five if they actually rate the thing. And then you can sort of exclude the ones that are zero. The final one is owner, and it's very, very similar. I'll just sketch that out for you. Okay, so we've got our flat pieces here, our register date, name, and email. And now we're going to have a list of IDs. So we'll come in here and say Mongo engine dot list field uh, for both of them. So this will let us store the object IDs that refer to the snakes and the object IDs that refer to the cages. Last thing to do is make the base class uh, the document here. All right. So what have we done? We've set all the fields to their respective types out of Mongo engine as descriptors. We set either default or required values. And we set the metadata, which talks about which database connection to use and what to call the collection when it goes into the database. And we've done that for our three top level items here. The one that is different that stands out is the booking, which is embedded within the cage. And this is an embedded document but otherwise, everything goes pretty much the same.